Hey guys, it's MJ, the student actuary, and we're going to be talking about which university is the best for studying actuarial science. So without further ado, um, yeah, let's see which one is the best. So whenever you think about universities, I mean, the top four always come to mind, Yale, Harvard, Oxford, and Cambridge. And I would really recommend that you guys use the resources that these universities make available publicly. Uh, when I was at university, I was able to go, I think it was called iTunes U or, or podcast or something um, online where you can actually access the lectures um, from these universities. So from Yale, I did um, a whole third year economics course and that aligned with first year actuarial science. And I mean, that was brilliant. It was given by a guy who just last year won the Nobel Prize in economics. And he would have guest lectures from guys like Carl Icahn, who are big active investors in Apple and Motorola, to other guys who have started um, these massive private equity funds that the Chinese government's bought out. I mean, it was amazing just the guest speakers that they had. So really worth get it, getting that. It was, um, I think it was called Behavioral Finance. Uh, it was a third year economical course and yeah, it ties in very nicely with actuarial science. I also got a few from Harvard. Um, none that really stood out for me. Oxford, I got um, a whole course on building a business and that was quite nice just seeing it from all the different angles. And then from Cambridge, I really enjoyed, they did a series called Silicon Valley uh, meets Cambridge or Cambridge goes to Silicon Valley or something like that and it was just a series of interviews where they interview people um, in the app industry and the university and well you know I, I love making my apps so it was a real treat for me and so yeah basically what I'm saying is these resources are available online and they are for free so if you're studying go and get them they are well worth it. I would not, however, recommend that you go to any of these universities, and for two main reasons. The first reason is that they are very expensive. So unless you have some golden scholarship, I don't think you're going to have enough finance to get into it. And the second reason is they're not South African. And why that's important, or why, why it's important to go to a South African university, is that when it comes to actuarial science, South Africans are, they're kind of like the best in the world when it comes to actuaries. I mean, we've made a lot of progress, we've made a lot of discoveries, and the reason being is South Africa is a country that has got quite a high inequality rate. You know, we have a lot of rich people, and we also have a lot of poor people. And as actuaries, we develop products for both markets. You know, you need micro insurance and funeral cover for the poor people and then you need these uh, you know life insurance and um, house and yacht insurance and all that type of stuff for the rich people so as an actuary in South Africa you're exposed to both of these markets so you're getting a much better overview of the entire industry and also I mean South Africa is the best country in the world so let's take a further look at the actuarial um, universities in this beautiful nation. So you have six universities that offer actuarial courses um, from Northwest, Free State, Tux, which is Pretoria, Wits, which is, which is Johannesburg, UCT, which is Cape Town, and Stellies, which is Stellenbosch. And the, the point of university um, in actuarial science is to get as many exemptions as possible. That's why you're going there. You're going in there to get as many of the exemptions done so that after university you don't have to write as many exams. You could do a pure mathematical um, degree and then write all 15 actuarial exams afterwards or you could be a little bit smarter and do an actuarial course and knock a few of them out of the way by getting the exemptions. Now various universities offer various um, exemptions so you can see Northwest, they offer, well, they all basically offer the basic core technical exams. Then the core applications, um, some of them offer two, and there's one one. Remember, there's a third one that you'll have to do outside. And then with the STs, this is very important, but this is more postgrad. 
you can see the various ones that they offer. So just by looking at this table, we can eliminate Tux, Free State and Northwest. Um, I remember in my honors year, we actually had some people from these universities come join us in honors. And so you can do your undergrad year and then come do your postgrad somewhere over here. But better to do it just all in one place. I mean, it's, it's less admin. Okay, so let's look at WITS, UCT, and Stellis. They both say they both got eight core technicals, two core applications, and five specialist technicals. But not really, because while they both say that they have all those um, exemptions, it's actually not true. Well, it's not true for UCT and Stellenbosch. So at WITS, you can do all five of the specialist technicals, or well, what I mean by that is you have a choice, because you only really need to do two. Some people I know have done three, but you just need to do two of these in order to qualify as an actuary. And at uh, WITS, you can see they had five, so every day there was a different lecture on a different topic. And so Monday it would be life insurance, Tuesday would be health, Wednesday general, and so forth. And it was at WITS, the lectures were all there. With UCT and Stellenbosch, it's not like that. What they do is UCT will offer either two or three, and Stellenbosch will offer the other two or three. Which means if you want to do, let's say, general insurance and you're at UCT, you have to travel all the way to Stellenbosch once a week to go to the lecture and do the course. And I went onto Google Maps, and as you can see, it's like 38 minute drive there, and then another 38 minute drive back, and this is without traffic. And bear in mind that this is the infamous N2, where, I mean, I was dropping a friend off at the airport the other day, and protesters had uh, taken tires, set them up on fire, and had blockaded the highway, which caused delays. So you don't really want to be doing that road. There are alternative routes, but it, it takes longer. Um, yeah, I'd rather recommend the, the N1. But anyway, that's not the, the point of the thing. The idea is that you actually have to do a lot of traveling um, depending on which STs you do. Whereas WITS, they're all centralized at one university. So that's, that's very good. Um, but the big thing is, is that UCT is an extra year of university than WITS. So at WITS, you have your three-year undergrad, where you do your eight core technicals, and then, um, or you do eight core technicals and one CA, and then you have your honors year, where you do CA1 and two STs of your choice. Whereas with UCT, the they have it structured slightly different. They also call it an, a three-year plus honors year, but you have to do it all in one year, or all in one go. And then they have this other thing called a master's, where you do the ST subjects. So it's not a whole year more, uh, because they do do some extra stuff. So it's actually, they've only delayed it by half a year. And I guess it is kind of cool because you can say, oh, I'm a master's of actuarial science. But if um, your goal is to qualify as an actuary as quick as possible, then WITS is much better. So it's one less year, which also makes it a little bit cheaper. Um, but also, very, very important when it comes to choosing your university is this, okay? This is what Cape Town looks like. As you can see, it is stunning. I live in this city because it is amazing. There is mountains to hike. Um, you can go, okay, you can't swim in the sea because it's cold, but you can do yachts and you can do skiing and you can do all those various water activities. It's just beautiful. There's wine tasting. It is, you know, I mean, it's no wonder it's a popular tourist destination. But that's the problem is when you're going to university, your goal is to study. That, that's it. That's your goal. It's not to go there and have fun and do all these various activities. These are a distraction. And I know a lot of people who, who haven't started university yet, they think this is university. You know, people come, yeah, big parties, woo, you know, because they see the movies and all that type of stuff. That, that's not true as an actuarial science student. If that, yeah, actuarial science student, that's you in the red. That's the actuarial science student. Everybody else, that's everybody else. That's the actuarial science student. So bearing that in mind, Look at this picture of Johannesburg, and this is a nice picture of Johannesburg. You can see there's not, there's, there's just buildings, which is good, because it means you go to university, you study, you go home, you sleep. You know, you eat, study, sleep, repeat, or something like that. Uh, whereas UCT, 
in my opinion, there's just too many distractions. You'll have too much fun and that's going to increase your chances of failure because it's really going to be hard to discipline yourself to say, okay, no, I'm not going to go to all these awesome fun events. I'm going to study. We're at Johannesburg. It was a little bit easier to do that. There are parties in Joburg, but it's easier to say no to them. But John, taking all that uh, into consideration, you also want to just consider where you're living. I mean, you don't want to be too far from home, or I don't know, maybe some of you guys want to do that. But definitely, definitely, definitely consider VITS as one of your main options. Um, if you want to study actuarial science, I mean, the lecturing staff there are superb. I mean, they've got some really great minds behind it. They've got some awesome corporate experience and they're very, very smart, and yeah. Look, maybe I'm being a little bit biased because I went to Vits, and while I'm doing this talk now, I'm busy wearing a Vits hoodie, so I'm being, being very, um, very proud of the university, but I would highly recommend it um, for, yeah, for the reasons mentioned above, and just because it's an awesome place. But yeah, think about your university that you go to. It is a big de um, decision, it is a big choice, so make sure you make the right one. But y'all, I'm MJ, the Student Actuary, and thanks for watching. Cheers, guys.